turbulence hitting the transports today as the index drops about a percent. The airlines are weighing on the group as more 737 MAX flights get canceled. United Airlines joining American and Southwest in the growing list to announce cancellations through the busy summer travel season. Plus, check out shares of J.B. Hunt falling in the after hours on an earnings miss. So is there trouble brewing in the transports? What do you say, Tim? Well, I, I tell you, I, I look at the transports, look at the chart, look at the, the, the group as a whole, and I'd say absolutely not. I mean, I, I'd say the transports have largely been a part and led some of this move up. If anything, they're a little bit overbought. A day like today, no big deal. Um, on the airlines, you can break down the reality of what some of these MAX 737 cancellations really mean. And for, for airlines, if anything, people tended to believe this was positive for airlines in terms of capacity uh, and where they could actually be raising prices. So um, the market response to this is a little peculiar. I don't think this is changing the fundamentals for the airlines at all right now. I just mentioned that it, it'll be very interesting to see as we get through earnings season. We know that we've had some pre-announcements from some of the airlines, but, you know, there seems to be a bifurcation. You look at the charts. I know Carter's going to look at some of them. The, the rails look great, and they act great, and they were pri at, you know, the prior highs. Uh, but the truckers, a lot of them don't look so great and don't act great. And so to me, what's interesting is what is the fundamental read-through when we get earnings? Is there some cross-currents there? And we just don't know yet.